All right, what do we have here? We have Supreme, Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei um, giving a speech about the Black Lives Matter protests in the United States. Let's see what he has to say. So he's saying what we see today in the various cities and states in America. Wait, do you guys hear? The, oh, actually, I should share the screen one more time with the audio. I forgot to share the audio here. Let's try this again. And then he's saying, this is an eruption of truths that have always been kept hidden. Okay. And this is, in, this is nothing new. The sludge at the bottom of the pond is floating up to the surface. So basically saying all this stuff that we're saying in the United States, all these protests, this is like we knew about all of this crap about the United States. Uh, this is just now surfacing, and the rest of the world can see it as much as they have been able to see it from before. So this is a situation, a policeman coldly, so he's referring to the uh, George Floyd um, incident. He's saying a police, um, he says a police coldly put his knee on a black man's neck. He kept it there and pressed it until his soul left him. The man begged and pleaded and the policeman coldly sat on him and pressed. While some policemen stood and watched doing nothing, this is nothing new. This is the nature of America. This is what Americans have been doing to the entire world. They did this to Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, and many other countries before. They did this to Vietnam. It is characteristic of America. This is the nature of American regime. Yeah, yeah, okay. And this is how it is being. Okay. The American public is chanting, let us breathe, we can't breathe. We're going to do a review on this, by the way. So. And in the widespread protests in the in various cities, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, oh my God, he keeps repeating himself. Um, well then, I'm going to show you guys one or two more of these analysts, so-called analysts from Iran saying shit like this um, before we actually go into the reaction of people. He says, well, I oh, my God, what is this stuff? Okay, here. Too much. All right, there we go. One or two. So this one is... I'll just do one more before we go actually to see how the Iranian public would respond to their supreme leader using the Black Lives Matter protest as a way to promote anti-Americanism in Iran. I'll, this one requires me translating for you, this video, uh, because it, it doesn't have any English subtitles or anything like that. But before that, let me just show you one more short clip on Iranian national TV. Okay, so this one is a political analyst on Channel 2 in Iran. So he's saying a black person who grew up in, depri in a deprived city with no proper school. Let me just tell you guys, like the, for a while, these protests uh, in the United States, the Iranian government really jumped on this to show like how bad America is. And it, it backfired on them. I, I'm, I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of what happened um, when they were trying to use it. And then I'll show you some of the backfire. Okay, 
This is in general the school system in America, with the exception of the top universities, is not good, but the black areas it is worse than everywhere else. So people graduate high school without knowing how to read and write. So he's saying people in United States graduate high school and they don't know how to read and write. Then this kid, he says the 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 mother the TV host is saying, "Are you kidding? They graduate high school without knowing how to read or write." He's asking the other person to confirm what he's saying. Is like, is it is it so? Is it not so? The guy, I think this other guy know, is realizing how stupid it, what he's saying is, and he's just not saying anything. Okay. Like just, <laughs> but the image of the America school system is so different. So these people think like it's so bad that you can't you can't, you can't even read or write even after graduating high school in the United States. That's how bad the school system is. In many of America's deprived cities, uh, deprived cities and areas, they call them slums. <laughs> <laughs> the schools are really bad and are not safe. Students simply move on to the next grade. Their reading and writing skills are at the level of, a, of second or third grade in Iran. So people in universities in United States, did he just say universities or? Hold on. Mm, let's see where they really cannot read properly so they are poor and deprived so he's saying like high school graduates in the united states reading and writing skills is like first and second grade students in iran they cannot enroll in a university. They did not attend the proper school. Anyway, this is just basically exaggerating stuff. Uh, but let's look at some of the. I don't know if I have only one, or I wanted to show you guys a couple of um, backlashes to the to this. Um, yeah, let's just do one of them only. If you guys want, I could do more later. So here. رهبر جمهوری اسلامی روز چهارشنبه چهاردهم خرداد در یک سخنرانی زنده تلویزیونی به مناسبت سالگرد در گذشت روح الله خمینی بنیانگذار جمهوری اسلامی با اشاره به اعتراضات اخیر آمریکا. I'm gonna put this on double speed so we can go through it faster. So she's just referring to the speech um, that Khamenei, the supreme leader, gave. I think it was the one that we just played. Mm. He says, like, um, the United States has been shamed because of their their response to coronavirus and also... It's like because of the lack of management, their 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 the rates in coronavirus coronavirus in the United States and the death rates have uh, increased dramatically compared to other countries. So he says, and now we're seeing in the protests and and the, you know the Black Lives Matter issue. Uh, he's saying like you can see they're killing their own people. It's like they dare speak to other countries about hum their human rights issues while they themselves, you know, Americans, are killing their own people. Um, so he's basically saying that it's becoming apparent to the whole world how bad United States is. Um, and that they're hypocrites, basically. That's his point. So they are corrupted and they don't they don't even apologize for their corruption. And yet they go to other countries and ask uh, talk to them about human rights. And he's like apparently the black person that they killed 
the I think he's referring to George Floyd. Apparently, that per, that person is not a human. If like he's not saying that he's like apparently to Americans he he's not a human, uh, given the, the way he's treated. Like you basically saying you're talking about human rights, but you don't treat your black people like human yourself. So that's what he's saying. رهبر جمهوری اسلامی همچنین گفت که در کنار احساس خجالت و سرفکندگی ملت آمریکا کسانی که او شغل آنها را حمایت از آمریکا دانست هم پس از این اتفاقات دیگر نمی توانند سر بلند کنند و از آمریکا دفاع کنند حال به نظر من ملت آمریکا من قبلا هم یه وقت گفتم الان هم میگم ملت آمریکا احساس خجالت و سرفکندگی میکنه از حکومت is like he's saying american the americans are embarrassed and feel defeated by the fact that this is their government و از این حکومتی که امروز در آمریکا هست واقعا جا داره که ملت آمریکا احساس سرفندگی کنه اون کسانی هم که در چه در کشور ما ایرانیایی که داخل کشور بودن هستن یا بعضی ایرانیایی که خارج از کشور هستن که شغلشون حمایت از آمریکا و دفاع از آمریکا و بزک کردن آمریکا بود اونا هم به نظر من که سرشون رو بلند نمیتونن بکنن با این وضعی که الان like, and he's saying the people who were, whose job was to defend the United States um, now they, they they're keeping their head down because they can in this environment no, nobody can defend the United States رسانه‌های داخلی به واسطه این سخنان رهبر جمهوری اسلامی پرداختند و تحلیلگران همسو با حاکمیت ضمن تایید این سخنان آن را نشانه ادراکیت رهبر جمهوری اسلامی و محقق شدن پیش‌بینی‌های او درباره افول آمریکا دانستند. در این میان اما تنها کسی که بدون حراس از متهم شدن به حمایت از آمریکا So this lady apparently is um, responding to uh, Khamenei and what he's saying and the, you know this is سخنان رهبر جمهوری اسلامی واکنش نشان داد فائزه هاشمی دختر یار و همرسم سابق او اکبر هاشمی رفسنجانی بود فائزه هاشمی This is very strange because uh, this is the daughter of this person uh, Rafsanjani I, I, I know most of you people this so this is the supreme leader Khamenei and this is Rafsanjani he's dead but he was like a very important person in the Islamic Republic of Iran and this lady that is now speaking is his daughter می دانید فایل صوتی که بی بی سی فارسی آن را منتشر کرده به برخورد دوگانه در ماجرای جورج فلوید در مقایسه با جان باختگان اعتراضات ایران پرداخته است. او محکوم کردن So she is speaking about, like it's so amazing that she's actually saying something like that takes a whole bunch of ball, like <laughs> like this lady has balls of steel to be able to say something like that against the supreme leader uh, position. Um, I mean what she's going to say right now is something that a lot of people Iranians have said on Twitter and on other social media platforms a lot of them uh, from Iran who use anonymous accounts uh, and a lot of them without using anonymous accounts a lot of Iranians that are outside of Iran but what is very interesting is that she is saying the same things but without while being such a public figure and doing it so openly so let's see what she says مگه جورج فلوید را از طرف کسانی که خودشان اعمالشان بدتر از دولت آمریکاست باور نکردنی و خنده دار دانسته است. Wait, hold on. What did she say? را منتشر کرده به برخورد دوگانه در ماجرای جورج فلوید در مقایسه با جان باختگان اعتراضات ایران پرداخته است. او محکوم کردن مگه جورج فلوید را از طرف کسانی که خودشان اعمالشان بدتر از دولت آمریکاست باور نکردنی و خنده دار دانسته است. She's basically saying that it's so ridiculous to hear this condemnation from people who have done to their people way worse than what the United States has done to people like George Floyd. She's saying that it's fine to condemn United States actions uh, under people, but it's 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 ridiculous that this is coming from people who are doing the same thing to their people a, a lot more. And if you if it's it's strange that they're worried the the people who are complaining about United States treating the way that they treat the black people are not fixed. They're in a position where they could actually stop doing that to their own people. But they're not doing that. They're complaining about something basically that they have no control over. Yet, if they were worried about people like George Floyd, they could they could have as easily not done this to a lot of protesters in Iran. He's saying like, she's saying that um, we have done 
a lot worse to our people than what the United States does to. I mean, it's amazing. Where is she right now? Is she like, how could she say this? She is in Iran. Like, God damn, this woman is brave. She, I know she's in Iran. Is she in Iran? Farzana Hashemi. Um, let me check out her Wikipedia page. Um, yeah, she's born in. Where is she right now? Yeah, she's in Tehran. Jesus Christ, how could she say something like this? And still, while she's there, she's been on trial. Um, I can see, yeah, she's been on trial. Jesus, this is this woman, man. People say, Armin, are there religious people that you admire? Yeah, this woman is one of them. Actually, okay, so to be fair, though, I know a bunch of Iranians might get upset with me because they think like these these kind of people are controlled opposition and they they just talk 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 and they have no they have no influence on the Islamic Republic of Iran. But honestly, I think those are just conspiracy theories and stuff like that. I mean, this woman has been taking a lot of shit from the Islamic Republic. I mean, I'm pretty sure she there's a lot of things that she supports that I think it it, it is disgusting, and I, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of positions that she has that I would condemn. But at least I could admire this about her that she's talking about this so openly. توتی که بلافاصله پس از سخنان رهبر جمهوری اسلامی منتشر شد، پاسخ جسورانه دختر یک رفیق سابق به رهبر فعلی باشد تا نشان دهد که او نیز میتواند زبان سرخی در پرسشگری و انتقاد از رهبر جمهوری اسلامی داشته باشد. دختری که گرچه مسئولیت مهمی را در جمهوری اسلامی بر عهده نداشته، اما از سوی مخالفان جمهوری اسلامی نیز به دلیل سوابق پدرش همواره مورد انتقادات و حملات تندی واقع شده است. So the, the, the speaker on this YouTube channel is saying that this one by the way, shout out to this YouTube channel this is really good. Uh, Kuche. Um, this the speaker is saying that this is a woman that gets attacked from all sides, both for people who support the Islamic Republic of Iran and the people who are against it. They all attack her. The, the people who are supporters of the Islamic Republic of Iran, they don't like uh, what she's saying because of her being critical of the Islamic Republic. But the people who are against the Islamic Republic also don't like her because of her association, because she's the daughter of... Raf Sanjani, which is one of the key architects of the Islamic Republic of Iran. So yeah, like in Iran, during the recent protests in Iran a few months ago, um, according to Reuters at least, which is some people are saying it's underestimating the number, but according to Reuters, in one month, the Islamic Republic of Iran killed more than a thousand unarmed protesters on purpose. Like it wasn't like, oh, like we were being violent to somebody and oops, they died. We didn't were like it wasn't like a George Floyd situation. It's like, no, point the gun at them and kill them. They're protesting. They're protesters. They're unarmed protesters. It was intentional slaughter of protesters. So for people to even for, for this regime to and Khamenei ordered that, right? And for somebody to order you know, its own soldiers to shoot unarmed protesters and then go out and say like, oh my God, look at America, they're the way they treat, they treat, like, it's like, yeah. Anyways, let's see what she's, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, she's saying the, the, the way the, the government in Iran treats its minority population, its protesters, its, its political activists, is, is way worse than what the United States does. Again, and this is coming from a religious Muslim, uh, hijabi, um, pro-Islamic theocracy woman within with, uh, in Iran that has ties to the government, okay? So for people who, like, people that are telling me, like, oh, Armin, how could you defend the United States government and then also say, and also be for defending the protests against the Islamic Republic in Iran, you're such a hypocrite. 
Um, how could you say that the? Uh, how could you defend the cops in the United States? Would you defend the cops uh, in Iran? Um, you know, uh, when they are oppressing the protesters in Iran, and when I say like, are you fucking kidding me? That is like so different. Are you? Are you? Are you? Like, how ridiculous can your your analogies get? And they're like, maybe when some people are like, well, maybe it's a little bit worse, but it's not that worse. Like, like this is, I'm showing you what what many Muslims in Iran would say, actually, that the Islamic Republic of Iran's oppression of its people is a thousand times worse uh, than what the United States does. And again, I'm not saying that doesn't mean you shouldn't complain in the United States if there is any form of abuse by the government. I'm just saying you can complain and appreciate how much you be you're better and how much progress you have made at the same time. You could be grateful and ask for more at the same time. I just want to show this uh, just to demonstrate like the lack of the lack of understand the the lack of the uh, the inability of people to just put things in context, right? Like to not it's not a binary thing, okay? It's not just like oh, it's you know the people that think the United States government is is tyrannical, um, and I just want them to show what them what real tyranny looks like. <laughs> By the way, guys, we are losing a lot of patrons because of the topics that I'm covering. If you guys want to support the the this channel, please, please uh, consider. And again, do not support us financially um, if you are struggling at all financially. Please do not support us financially if you're struggling. Um, you could support us in other ways, like sharing these videos, liking, commenting. But if you are, if you are not struggling financially, please consider becoming a, at least like a one dollar patron because we are losing patrons because of all this. Uh, the, the, I do I do want to be able to talk about these things without having to worry how we're going to cover our expenses. We don't really need much, just a, you know, to to be able to continue. But we have lost a lot of people, so if you could support us, that would be nice. رهبر جمهوری اسلامی در حالی به اعتقاد بسیاری از مخالفانش بر موج اعتراضات مردم آمریکا سوار شده که خود نیز به دخالت در این اعتراضات متهم است. به گزارش دویچه ولی فارسی در روز اول ژوئن مشاور امنیت ملی کاخ سفید ایران را به دخالت در نارامی های آمریکا متهم کرد. رایت سی اوبراین در این مصاحبه در پاسخ به پرسشی درباره واکنش ایالات متحده به دخالت چین، روسیه و زیمبابوه درباره نارامی های اخیر آمریکا گفت: ولی yeah, I'm not going to go much more into this is getting into too much detail. Let me actually see. Yeah, it gets ridiculous. Um, let me see if I want to cover this part. No. Yeah, I already covered this guy. I did another video. Anyways, let me just end this here. Let me know what you think. Uh, thank you. Bye bye.